Francis Ford, how you doing over there? <laughs> There's purpose. Oh, good. purpose. No, no. He's just going, going into his archive. He only uses camera one. But Andrew is an archiver. Uh, in this project, we will explore the story of scouting through the plaques left by the troops, packs, and crews that have camped at Horseshoe Scout Reservation. Around. We even have some in this room. Chester County Council acquired the reservation in 1926, just 16 years after the inception of scouting in the United States. And scouts have been camping at Horseshoe since 1927. Each of the members of the Bear Patrol selected one of the plaques in the mess hall at Camp Ware. On the walls, we found the stories left by each of the units that make up scouting, with the exception of Sea Scouts. The earliest plaques that we found were from the early 1980s, more than 30 years of scouting. Hundreds of units have visited the reservation since then, many leaving plaques to commemorate their stay. As I said before, we think that one way to understand the story of scouting is to look at what the scouts left behind for us. In addition, we wanted to work in the theme of the elements of project planning that we learned. In order to demonstrate this, each of us took one of the elements as a theme for our talk. Please come with us as we take a journey through scouting. Okay, so the, the topic I want to talk about is who, as you can see a bunch of names up here. Uh, we often find ourselves looking at old plaques and wondering who these people are that grace the leather, the tin cans, or the wood hanging in our dining halls. This plaque has special significance for me because of the names that are on this plaque. So who do you think these folks are that are on this plaque? And you can't see every individual name, but you see the letters JLT up there. So who do you think these people are that has specific a special significance for me. Anyone? True members? Staff. True members? No, no true, true members. It was staff. It was my staff, that's right, because I think you were on my staff. Weren't you <laughs> uh, actually, my name somehow never ended up on this plaque. I guess I was so busy leading everybody that I never wrote my name on there. But yeah, actually, these folks were uh, youth and some adult members that were on the junior leader training staff of 2001, it looks like. Um, they're my good friends, and they were the staff in 2001. Um, at any rate, many of these folks are now great friends. Um, it's great being around like-minded individuals, those who firmly believe that training is a great way to advance scouting uh, by teaching skills, and also its history. Plaques can teach us about who has helped shape the history of our reservation, and also scouting, by doing the daily work in our units, our districts, and our counties. And I'm going to talk about the what. What story do the totems say to you? Some may not have a story at all. They may have just been an idea that the creator had. Looking at the Pack 81 shield from 2009, does this relay a story? Looking at this photo, what do you think took place that, in that summer session? A lot of hardcovers. <laughs> not a hardcover. <laughs> Um, my son and I just recently bridged from Pack 81, and we attended summer camp that summer. The biggest memory was the stormy weather and the siren going off multiple times during our session. Siren off one night at about 3 o'clock in the morning. It rained so much that our boys only got to shoot one time during our stay there. The bulk of the program was modified and complete under, completed under hard cover. To the parents, it was chaos. It was not fun, it was wet. But to the boys, all I can say is as we were leaving, pulling out of the driveway of Camp Ware, my son said, Mom, can we come back here next year? Because that was so much fun. Mm, awesome. That is what is important. At the end of the day, the boys had a blast, and the summer camp of 2009 still lives in our memory. Um, and we had one patrol member who had to go home for medical reasons. He covered the where, and I'm going to cover that for him, this one here again. Um, so 
So Jim says, <coughs> I picked this totem, and it's the one up in the top, although underneath that is Pac-81 there too, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, liked, uh, he says, I picked this totem because I like where it's located in the dining hall. Even though it is from Cub Scout Pack 36 Friendship, I see the Scout logo is represented here. That tells me that the boys in this pack have the three main parts of the Scout Oath in mind. Where the three points of the Scout logo are located represents the three parts of the Scout Oath. One, duty to God and country. All my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the Scout law. Two, duty to others to help other people at all times. And three, duty to self, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. I feel that this totem should be in every camp dining hall, where it can remind all who see it that the Scout Oath is not just something we should remember, but something we should all live by. Quick FYI, I made that that my part of this project was to reflect on the when of project planning. The plaque that I'll be talking about was left by Pac-2 in Downingtown. It was made in 2010 to commemorate the summer camp that the scouts went to that year. Oh, six scouts came down and, and, and camped in tents that year, and that's the little tent that they show here, the names of the six scouts. My son is that one right there, I think. Uh, the following year, 12 scouts came down, and the theme of that year was, I think, can you, anybody see this? Can you guess what the theme was that year? Pirates. Pirates, yes. Yeah, so it was pirates that year. Uh, we see by the Jolly Roger that the summer camp, on um, the theme was pirates. Um, when they go camping this year, something else will be added to this. Um, the plaque itself will provide a living history of the plant of um, the PAC's uh, activities at summer camp in Camp Ware. I don't have any totems in the, in the dining hall. But when I look at this totem, the question that came to mind for me is why? Why do you suppose the PAC-28 Bear Scouts picked a guinea pig to be their mascot? <laughs> they associate with small furry animals? Probably not. Do they see themselves as participants in some big experiment? Maybe. Why, why do you think they picked the guinea pig? Getting ready for whipping? Could be. <laughs> Tailless beaver. <laughs> for, me, for me, I think it's because of fun. When I think about Cub Scouts, I think of fun. We've all heard in scouting the words fun with a purpose. Sometimes we get lost in the purpose and forget that a key ingredient in a successful scouting program is for the youth to get enjoyment from the programs, to participate in new activities, and discover fun in ways and places they may not expect. The Pac-28 Bears, Evan, Ben, Sam, Caleb, Matt, Bailey, Austin, and Quinn, remind us of this. Like Dave, I don't, I'm from another council, so I don't have any, we've never come down here to summer camp. We can fix camp. that. <laughs> uh, but I had how. Uh, nobody knows how the first totem started or why. If anyone knows that, it would be good to know. But, uh, but they are made and displayed for everyone to see. How are they made? Because of the pride of being a scout. You know, the pride in your unit, staff, and leaders. Uh, they mean different things to different people. I mean, nobody knows, really, unless you're associated with that group, why it was made. You know, this one here I picked because of it's 1995, but you can evidently tell that it was a staff. It must be like a summer camp because it has different troops and packs that who would have came to that camp. So it's a multitude of a lot of different groups all together. And uh, it just tells the weeks and who was there. So we've seen how the various totems in Campware Dining Hall represent the who, what, where, when, why, and how of scouting. Across the country there are hundreds of similar displays in camp halls with plaques, patrol flags, crew shirts, neckerchiefs, totems relating to similar scout history. Is there a scouting hall somewhere that reflects your involvement in scouting? If so, 
Next time you see it, share your experience with the youth and help them connect to their heritage in scouting. So who here has more than five plaques somewhere <coughs> with their name on it in a dining hall somewhere? Wow. Would you mind telling us about your favorite one? Somebody? Anybody? You don't get cake until three people respond? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hurry up! Hurry up! Uh, I've got a bunch over at Horseshoe from when I was a kid, but my most proudest uh, plaque is the marching trophy for my first year of Scoutmaster. Excellent. Because I didn't win a single marching trophy in my many years of scout. <laughs> <laughs> there was another? Yeah, uh, there's several of them uh, all from Troop 62, probably the uh, the most crowning achievement was when there were so many adults here who just had to throw our own black so there's a rocking chair and the counter control. It's not so much black in a dining hall, but um, a couple of years ago, well, I told you, uh, my crew had a shakedown for Philmont. If you ever get a chance down in Virginia, there's a great uh, scout reservation that hosts a week long backpacking course down there. And the one uh, camp that we were at it was a logging camp, and they were actually building. A log cabin. So we actually had to participate in cutting down the trees, shaving the bark off, and putting it onto the cabin. And we got two logs on, which was very impressive that day. Um, and we actually carved Troop 84 onto it. So that was really, really great. Excellent. Thanks. Any others? Andrew. I don't know if I have a favorite one, but I got a ton of them up in uh, dining hall here. Fantastic. I've been here for like 15, 15 years. That's terrific. Leave quite a legacy. Um, one more? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, um, my favorite's not at the dining hall, it's at least last time I stayed in Brown and Lodge, it was there. Uh, the plaque was a pack 20, I believe it was weekend. And it's probably five years later, the troop was staying there, and she was like, that's me, that's me, that's me. Yeah. It's great. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Well, we will have the video available online if anybody would like to use this in any, in any circumstances. You're, you're free to use it. And we'll also be passing out what, our, what we wrote. So thank you very much for your time. Any questions for the Bears? That was great. I really was. Next up, the Buffaloes. Um, all right. You might want to get up and come around here.